All right, we are following Ohio State taking on Rutgers. Game just finishing up on CBS. Ohio State winning big, 35-16. We had them on upset alert, but no needed. We said this Ohio State team, incredibly talented, can run out and put up 30 on you easily in the second half. And uh, they did uh, take Rutgers out of this game, 35-16. The final is Ohio State improved to 9-0. and uh, They go 9-0 and for the third time in five seasons under head coach Ryan Day. And we now welcome in Ross Tucker, who was on the call for this game as the Buckeyes get the big win to stay undefeated and remain the number one team in the nation. Ross, what was your main takeaway from this game? Because it looked like Ohio State was on the ropes a little bit at halftime. Well, it seems like a lot of these Ohio State games have been like this. And my big takeaway is Ohio State's defense is really, really good. I mean, they were put in a bunch of bad spots in this game. And every time they held up, held Rutgers to a field goal, and then they made the play of the game with the Jordan Hancock pick six. Rutgers had the lead. Rutgers was driving. But the ball bounces to Hancock. He takes it the other way. And, and Ohio State really never looked back at that point. In terms of this offense, this Ohio State offense, I mean, we had some concerns about them coming into this game and, and some questions about Kyle McCord. Uh, certainly in the first half, there was not a lot to be happy about there. Ryan Day uh, was asked about trying to fix that at halftime, but this team came out in the second half, played a little bit better. What concerns do you have about this offense at this point? Well, it's interesting. It just doesn't feel like they're in a rhythm a lot, right? Travion Henderson played awesome. He had over 200 yards from scrimmage again. So they know they have a run game. They know they can lean on him. But at times, the passing game is not like it's used to at Ohio State. We're used to them throwing the ball all over the place and putting big numbers up. But it just seems like they're still not quite in a rhythm. They got Ibuka back. That helped, but he didn't put up big numbers. And I will say this, too. Rutgers secondary, their corners in particular, those young men can really play. They did a nice job and, for the most part, kept those Ohio State receivers in check. Yeah, it seemed like this game was a little more physical than maybe some people would have anticipated because Rutgers did come out to play, and they played hard in this game. Uh, Travion Henderson uh, had a good game. He seems to be one of the key parts of this Ohio State offense. If he's going, uh, this offense seems to be able to find a way to win. Well, he's so impressive, and I said it during the game. I'm really blown away by the fact that Ohio State was able to beat Penn State without him. I mean, he is a difference maker. I don't know that they win these last two games against Wisconsin and Rutgers without him and his contribution. Now, they got other good running backs as well, and it's Ohio State, so they have depth and talent. But those other runners, train them or whoever, Hayden, they're not Travion Williams. I mean, he, Travion Henderson, I'm sorry, he came out and made a big difference again in this game. Yeah, this offense can be taken along if Henderson's going. They got Emeka Abuka back, as you said. Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, there's so many weapons on here, and they got those going in the second half of this game versus Rutgers. Ross Tucker joining us as Ohio State improved to 9-0, and taking down the Scarlet Knights 35-16. Thanks very much, Ross. Always good to see you. As we take a look at Ohio State's remaining schedule, they have Michigan State coming up next week. You'd have to think they're going to be heavy favorites going into that game. That's at home in Columbus. Then they've got Minnesota at home, but we're all counting down to the big game the final one on the schedule against now number three Michigan coming up at the end of November.